in a Shell is a movie directed by Rupert Sanders and it stars Scarlett Johansson. And this movie is based off the 1995 version of the movie of Ghost in the Shell. And just by looking at the picture, it has all those tentacles and wire coming out of her body. Does not picture promote hentai? The casting choice for this movie got a little controversy because they saying they're whitewashing America. They did the same thing with Iron Fist. They did the same thing with Doctor Strange. The creator of the show, Masamune Shiro, didn't care. He said it's okay, it's fine. If he agrees with the casting choice, then I definitely agree with the casting choice. And also, it's Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson is a big name. A big name brings in the audience. Like, if, if you was going to a basketball game and LeBron James was there, you would definitely spend like $100 to go see LeBron James. Would you spend $100 to see Mo Williams? I mean, who cares? I mean, come on, it's a big name. I understand big name brings in an audience. So Scarlett Johansson plays a character named Major. And after a freak accident, they transfer her brain into this cybernetic body. And now she's trying to figure out her past, figure out her memories, trying to figure out why she's having all all these images as appearing inside her mind. So I gotta tell you that as a fan of the anime show, the fan of the 1995 movie, I have to tell you that this movie really followed the same concept of the 1995 movie. It followed scene to scene, panel to panel. I was pretty much watching the 1995 version but in live action. I like Scarlett Johansson's performance as the character the way she walks and the way she works like robotic she has that she's kind of stoic kind of stiff when she walks but yet you can understand that because she's playing a character who is a, a robotic with a human brain inside of it now that it could lead to a trap because people will say oh she's so stiff in her role but yet people argue saying that oh yes because she's a she's a human in a in a cybernetic body and or you know so it's it's really she had it's kind of smooth the way she walks like a ro like a robot in this film she really blew me away when all the action sequences now looking outside of the box this movie was pretty much made for the casual fans so when i was walking into this movie i wasn't expecting it to be deep or be philosophical as the 1995 version or the ghost in the shell because the ghost in the shell is known for having its philosophical themes is that really touch on humanity mankind and also it asks you the questions about yourself so really I understand that this movie was not going to touch base on those bases first 25 minutes of this film started off a little slow in expedition e I understand because there are casual fans who haven't seen the anime or seen the show or maybe even heard of the show because there's some friends of mine who never heard of the show it really was a slow burn to watch because the scenes with the way it was seen for structured it felt like the movie was boring but yet stuff was going on Ooh. A slow burn, slow burn, but still good stuff. Visuals in this movie was, wow, my God, the visuals were very good. They, the action sequences was executed very well. Maybe like the first action sequence, the first scene where she jumps through a window. Now that's not a spoiler, it was in the trailer. He did the Zack Snyder thing. When you start up slow, then you go fast, and then slow. And I thought they was going to do it the whole entire movie with the action sequences, but then we did it for like like the first five seconds of the start of that scene. But yet, yeah, I held my breath for a little bit, but it didn't happen. So, yeah. But action sequences was very good. It was executed very well. Well, good action sequences. Now, the, now the flaws with this movie, I would think it's a flaw, but yet I understand it, so it's going to be a nitpick. The, I wanted this movie to be deeper. It is not deep. If you are a fan of the anime show thinking it's going to be deep, it is not going to be deep. It, it hinted the deep philosophical message, but then it, it backed off and went to an action sequence. I kind of feel like the, the writers was trying to pinpoint the philosophical message, but then they were like, <laughs> no, that's too deep. That's too deep. Let's, uh, let's, let's put more action sequences in there. I want to think more with this film, but yet I understand why they went to a different route and focus on the action sequences because if you have a movie that focuses on the philosophical themes it can really make the audience not like the movie and we do not want to experience one year long of stress that I'm still dealing with with this day because the messages would clearly go over their heads and it would be controversial and people would hate it for some reason. 
So I kind of understand why they went that route. Yeah. That's the way it is. Come on. So the action sequences was very good. I have to say this movie was done very well. The performances was good. Scarlett Johansson once again killed her role. This is not whitewash. I gotta say this movie definitely deserves a Christian Bell Batman. I, I love the director's artistic view of the movie. So that's my review for Ghost in the Shell. All right, guys. What, what other anime adaptation that they should do? I say they should make a Gundam movie because we got a we had a Power Rangers movie and that was successful, and they're making a the Voltron movie. So hell. Let's make a Gundam movie. I'm down for that. Give me all your thoughts. Comment on the board. And check out my last two videos I did. I did a review with, with a few friends of mine. We did a review for BVS. Alright guys, thank you for watching. If you like everything you see and you agree, click right here. Join me and the Batman family. I have more batman tastic reviews in the way. You have been warned. Till then, ciao.